ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got the perfect puzzle for you. What do you get when you watch scary movies? The answer? Fear Tears! <laughs> Film critic Ryan Tay is here with his recommendations for Halloween. I love it. Who are you, Ryan? You. Who do you think I am? You're an Oompa Loompa! From Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Phenomenal. Oh, thank you. I just amazing. have to say, um, your outfit Look straight at the is camera. It's so cool. Okay, but his <laughs> eyes, can we get a little closer? Michael Weiss did my eyes. Thank you, Michael. Michael, you're friend. Are really so talented. Amazing. He's so talented. Good. And look at that. I that love wig. The, the look green. at the curl. The wig is everything, right? Just get the curl it's on the, top. The pompadour <laughs> wig is just kind of, the, yeah. This is so great. Yeah, you look fantastic. One of my favorite classic musical movies. It's on Broadway right now, an adaptation of it also. So the musical, so. So fantastic. fantastic. You look great. You Thanks, probably. you guys, too. I'm loving you. I mean, I love when you do Halloween. I'm so honored to be included. Thank you to Kim and Katie and Greg and everybody for including me again we this year. We love it's so it fun. when you're love here. love it when you're here. Let's you break great. down 2017, right? Because it was a big year for horror. It really was. It's like, it is, rather. You know, it's sort of a renaissance for horror in the sense that horror has been really easy and that they can make low-budget movies and they make great box office. But this year, still moderate-budgeted movies like It mm -hmm. for $35 million has Scary. made over over 666 million worldwide. Six, and six, no. six. I want to say about this movie, my kids have all seen it, including yeah. my daughter who just turned 13, so she was 12 not that long ago. Oh, I was kind of opposed oh. to it. Their mm -hmm. dad said, yeah, he thought they could see it. He took them to it. In fact, when they got home, he had red balloons in their rooms. Oh, that clever. Is that is a good father. <laughs> but mean, <laughs> meanwhile, it, it, it's, this is sort of bringing a renaissance back because it's bringing style and substance back. This, in addition to Get Out earlier this yeah. year, you know, really great horror movies. And this was sort of striking while the iron is hot with Stranger Things because Stranger Things last year was such a sensation being set in the 80s. This, of course, including one of the young uh, boys who was cast in Stranger Things also, which brings us to Stranger Things season two. Two on Netflix. My friends just binge watched the first season, and oh, so they're obsessed so good, with so good. it. I can't watch it. But well, Stranger, tell us about Stranger it. Things season two just debuted on Friday. Mm -hmm. I've already I finished it. I watched it over the last three days. Okay. It's so fantastic, and it's all re as great as the first one. It has all the feels, and they get the '80s period just so perfectly right. They, they broke a Twitter record. It's the most tweeted streaming show of a second season what? in history. Wait, so really? they released the whole second season all at once? You binge it. Yeah, that's oh. what you know how streaming shows or Netflix does I that see. kind of thing. Just yeah, all nine episodes. So nine hours. No, oh, it's I kind like of fun. That. Yeah, some people watch all nine hours in a row. I couldn't do that. I watch like three hours at a time. Yeah, that's gotcha. crazy, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the next one you want to, I haven't heard of this one, Bram Stoker's Dracula. 1992. This oh. is a classic oh, yeah. Francis Ford Old Coppola school. directed and Winona Ryder, who is joy the mother in Stranger Things is so fantastic and she was a star in this movie and I, I miss her in actual mm. movies. She's torn between two lovers here where it's Dracula played by Gary Oldman and Keanu Reeves as Jonathan Harker. It won three Oscars for costumes, for I'll makeup. I'll tell you which one to pick. For effects. Yeah, I'm sure you right. <laughs> Who? Keanu Reeves. Keanu, oh, I just said, I just said Gary Oldman. No way. Yeah, but look at Gary there. I mean, these costumes, this movie is worth seeing alone just for the style. The costumes are just drool-inducing and gorgeous, and uh, I, I love this movie, how stylish it is. Really scary. Sadie Frost is Lucy, terrifying in this movie, but I just can't peel my eyes off of her. I love it. Yeah, these are good scary The Conjuring 2 is rated R, and this is my, two of my kids' favorite horror movies. This is my current favorite horror film. Is it? And this is the one that gave me Fear Tears. Fear Tears? Oh. Yes. I gotta see it <laughs> yeah. then. I don't want to see horror, but we, maybe we, I should see it with you. You should. I would love to. It's not as impactful on the small screen as it was seeing it in the theater, but what I love about Conjuring 2 is that it has Patrick Wilson in it. And he actually sings a song. There's three different monsters, so the fear changes a couple times. It's very suspenseful. It's edge of your seat. Um, and it was just so immersive that you really, really feel the fear. And I, I, I broke out in tears out of fear in this one. New Line has already ordered a script for number three this summer, so hopefully that's going to be coming out in the next couple years. It's great. Take your word for it. The okay. others, PG-13. This yeah, is one others. of the only ones that's not rated R in your list. Right, so it's good for PG-13 audience, right? Mm -hmm. It's Nicole Kidman. This is a spooky haunted house movie, and this one stands the test of time. It's so moody. It's a thriller. It's a mystery. And I like a good haunting. It almost reminds me of The Sixth Sense a little bit because there's that question of whether or not there's going to be a twist. Do you really know what's going to happen? Will it turn out the way you might predict? And it's so atmospheric. So this is a fun one to watch with friends. Funny games, rated R. Funny games. Prior to the conversation, Conjuring 2, this was my scariest movie of all time. This oh. came out in 2007. Naomi Watts and Tim Roth. It's a remake by Michael Haneke, writer-director of his 1997 Austrian version. Two guys show up at a family home, hold the family hostage, Ugh. torture and kill them in real time. 
without oh. editing, without score. It is the most terrifying. I had nightmares for weeks after seeing wow. this movie. It's absolutely horrifying. So Funny Games, if you're brave enough, I dare you to watch Funny oh, Games. Oh, God. You know what movie I just want to throw out really fast has stuck with me through time? I don't know how scary you think it is, but The Sixth Sense. Yeah. yeah. To me. I didn't want to become a creepy. psychologist It was like a new it. era. <laughs> yeah, in, in movies, I thought. I thought it was fantastic. Um, Great list, Ryan. Thank this you. is awesome. Thank you for, for assembling it. You have a giveaway. I do. Everybody's Happy favorite. Halloween. Everybody's favorite uh, Halloween movie is Hocus Pocus. Yeah. So caller number 13 oh, wins. My favorite, probably your favorite, on Blu-ray, Hocus Pocus. A little bit glare. I guess there that they're go. remaking it, Disney Colin Channel with a new cast or something, but yeah. 414-799-4444 so, will win the Hocus Pocus Blu-ray DVD. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, guys. So awesome. awesome. Aw, you too. It's fantastic. So you, you can, can like him on Facebook, follow him on Instagram, Twitter for full movie reviews. Check out his website, ryanjreviews.com. He did a great uh, movie club last night with the movie Thor yes. Yes. that my youngest daughter absolutely loves. So thank you so much, Oh, Ryan. my pleasure. Anytime. It's fantastic. Thanks.